Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to the Getting Started with Power Apps Component Framework tutorial series. In the previous tutorial, we added the component to the Canvas app. However, we want to extend the same component's functionality to, to the model-driven app as well. So how can we do that? And what changes we will need to make to our code? So let's go ahead and jump into the demo. So yeah, my friends, I'm in the co same code sample. The only changes that I need to make is in the control.manifest.input file. In the control manifest file, you can see that from line number 21 to line number 25, we went ahead and actually define the properties and we define all the usage for the properties as bound. However, when you bind a control to a model-driven app, you don't want to bind each and every property to different controls. You can do that, but for this particular demo, we will not do that. Or it, it's not how you should do it for the Glow app, right? We need to go ahead and pass static values to few fields, such as the text size, the text color, align, and weight. So how should we do that? We just need to go ahead and change the usage from bound to input. So I'm changing it from bound to input. I'll copy this and I'll change it for all the other properties. However, I will leave the text property, okay, glow text property to bound. Now that I have done the changes, I'll also change the version number out here because I want my component to update. Now that being said, let me go ahead and first add the reference to the component. Perfect. So the component reference has been added. I'm going to launch my developer tools. And in my developer tools, I'll go ahead and run MS build. Okay. And this will build my code component. Perfect. So let me go into my power apps and in my solutions, I'm going to import the same solution. Perfect. Next. I'll import the solution. And I'll wait the, for the solution to be imported. Perfect. So our solution has been imported. I'll go ahead and publish the solution. Perfect. So our solution has been published. So first, before importing the solution into the model driven app, I want to actually show you the model-driven app that we are going to use, okay? It's a very basic app. It's known as the test app, okay? I have just created it for this particular demo. So the app looks like this. It has a table form and this form has got a name field. And what we want to do is we want to associate our glowing control to the name field. So I'll again go back so I can just go back to make.powerapps.com. So I'll go into the tables. And under the table, I have a custom table that's known as codes. And I'll go ahead and click on it. And then I can go into the, under the data experience, I'll click on form. And I'll edit the main form. So for the main form, I'll then edit in classic view so that I can go ahead and associate my PCF to a field, okay? Perfect. So I need to associate it to the name field and my solution is already imported and published. So I can click on the field. So next, I can click on controls and here, my friends, what I can do is I can click, I can scroll down and I can say add control. And here, I need to search for glow control right so it's known as glow text pdf i can add it here i can associate it to the view let me get rid of other controls which are not used and i need i can associate it to the web phone and the tablet view at this point i can click on ok and here i'm being prompted to go ahead and configure it so understand this okay the first one is a bound type of property, right? So 
that is the reason why I can bind it, okay? I can bind it to the control itself and it's bound to the value associated to the name field. So it's bound. However, if I click on other properties, you can either bind it to a static value or bind it to a field. That's the difference between bound and input, right? In our case, we need to bind it to a static value. For example, the text size should be a static value. So I can just put in 50. Similarly, I'll put the text color. Let me put it red. I can say align. I can say center and text weight is equals to bold. Now all the properties that I have put in were compulsory properties. That means they were required properties. That is the reason why I could not save this property without giving values to it. But now what I can do, I can click on OK and I can click on save and I can click on publish. Perfect. So my app seems to be published. So I can do a hard reload or empty cache and hard reload. Table, I can launch my particular form and see if it glows, right? So I'll click on this and here my friends. We have the glowing property associated to our form or to the name field. Isn't it awesome? I hope that you have learned something new and thank you for your time and bye-bye for now.